turn to the longevity vision fund, right? So uh, you you founded this. So, yeah. And so the aim of the longevity vision fund is the same as yours, right? Is to reach one billion oh, sure. people. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. It. yeah. So what do you see as a strategy to achieve this? Is it education and technology? Uh, you do some education. Is the education handled separately? Yeah, so um, yeah, education is, is totally um, on my shoulders. Uh, so I, I, trying to just to spread this exciting message about a lot of things which are happening um, in the field of uh, longevity science and, and technology. So that's one. Uh, fund is really like investment vehicle to support entrepreneurs and scientists. So, um, and that's why we in 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 uh, longevity vision fund we already invested in 18 companies it's going to be more by the end of this year uh, and uh, the whole idea if we like the technology and we have extremely broad definition of longevity whatever increased average health span and lifespan on earth would fit our definition uh, we would support them and uh, we had so many and we we have so many exciting companies in our portfolio like affordable ultrasound devices um, libraries of different vectors for uh, gene therapies um, we have a new digital version of stethoscope which is ai empowered we have like genesis this company which um, um, regrows uh, organs inside our body and develop technology and, and science uh, behind this um, approach. Um, what else? Early cancer diagnostic is is important part of this as well. So we invested in a company called Freenome, which use liquid biopsy uh, and your blood test to be able to detect early stage colon cancer. And this is one of the most difficult cancers to catch because um, in today's world, uh, it's not a blood test. You need to do like colonoscopy to um, to identify whether you have this risk or not. And people you know, don't really like it. They they do you, you do it like once every five years, and it's uh, it's um, checking something once every five years is not really prudent uh, and conservative in terms in the concept of preventive medicine. Sometimes it's just too late. Right. So what is the time horizon? So when you're investing and you're looking at the criteria for the company, what is the time horizon that you would generally look for? So um, it can, well, it can be different. Some of the um, companies and some of the devices and technologies, specifically in med tech area that we invested in, they're going to be available to uh, for the market like next year. Um, so it's like, it's, it's going to be like minimum three years from our moment of our investments, uh, to this device or this intervention hitting the market in some of the cases, it's just really a lot of time. It's, it's going to be up to, you know, seven to 10 years, but they, the structure, uh, and, um, the whole organization of biotech industry is, allows you to. Uh, support the companies on the later stages or exit, uh, do IPO, uh, and, and for companies to become public at certain stage of their development. So it's uh, like, like we know, in, uh, again, in the field of human biology, something is like really quick to develop. Uh, something is like really, you know, it takes a lot of time uh, to develop. And usually it's only uh, within this paradigm, it's not that quick. But we're happy to support the companies. The, the, the investment period for the fund is, this is where we can invest is uh, five years. And the overall length uh, of the activity of the fund is uh, 10 years. So within whatever happens in 10 years, we're happy to support that. And uh, I'm pretty sure if something takes more time, we'll find the way to support it further. So how much of your time do you spend talking to these companies looking for Invest, uh, well, I guess they're coming to you looking for investment. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it's I'm a founder, right? So I have a, like a dedicated team of scientists and investment professionals mm -hmm. to work on that. It's um, up to 25, 30% of my time. But this is like the most fascinating uh, time of my day. Uh, it's, it's just, it's such an amazing opportunity to uh, understand this technology, to see what is happening in this world. And you know, got excited about what future holds for us. So one question, 
I had, I believe the fund is, is like a hundred million. Is yeah, yeah. The fund size. Yeah, yeah. Did you, dollars. did you stop at a hundred million because that was the amount that was available or, or was it like a, you decided, okay, we want a hundred million because that's how I, big I want the fund to be. Yeah. So it was basically, I was constrained by my ability to raise money. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's it. At longevity at this time, back in 2018 and 2019, when we were setting up the fund, longevity was, and it's still, um, to a certain extent, was an orphan for biotech investors, for big pharma um, as well. Because remember, aging is not official disease. So you can really you know, invest uh, in research and development uh, in a science of you know, understanding aging process or fighting age-related disease. It's always need to comes down to individual to particular disease and that's that's the problem that we have in today in, in terms of regulation um like and, and that's why you know cancer uh, oncology as a sector gets 80 to 100 billion dollars every year for research and development longevity up to two billion dollars every year and that's uh, that's the problem but we the, things are starting to change so we see more and more big pharma you know biotech uh, medical devices, looking at longevity as, as the next you know, big thing. We've been just really early in this field. Not only us, there, there, there are few other uh, investors and investment funds in, in this field. We all know each other. We all support each other. Like, and as we always say, longevity um, circle, like, uh, you know, e even if I lose and you win and you invented something for the benefits of humanity and our health, this is great. And we, we all win.